Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is James, and today I have a video on how to get two Blundergats at one time. Now what's cool about this is not only do you get two Blundergats at one time, but it also gets a step out of the way for the Easter egg, meaning that if your team is pretty strong, and you're pretty much a tank with those two Blundergats, you can easily get the Easter egg out of the way. That's actually what me and my party did in this video after the video. After it cuts out, we actually went and finished off the Easter egg. That's pretty awesome. I might be uploading a full tutorial on that. But with that being said, I also have a recommend the loadout of what works beast with this, but before we say any of that, I just want to get to the initial tutorial, get that under the belt, and we'll start going over what works good for me and how I enjoy using these two guns. Now first off, you're going to have to get the Hell's Retriever. If you don't know how to get that, it is the Electric Tomahawk. And all you gotta do is go for the dogs and have it eat the zombies. You can kill the zombies in front of the dogs. It's at three locations. And uh, once you get the zombies to basically get sucked into the dog, you'll have the Hell's Retriever. It'll spawn under down, downstairs in like this creepy area. You pick up the Tomahawk, it's a Electric Tomahawk. Now the second thing is probably the hardest part in my opinion. You're gonna have to get the blunder get out of the box. Now this could take a while and I heard that there you can actually only get one blunder get out of the box at once. So once one player's got it, other people aren't going to be able to get it. So, uh, you know, the first guy to get it is going to be the lucky one. Then once you have the blunder get out of the box, you're going to have to construct the plane and go over and pack a punch the weapon. Now we'll have a tutorial in the description for those who are new to the map and don't know how to build the plane. All you got to do is pick up all the parts for it and put it all together. Once you build the plane, you can hop over, fly on the plane, and you end up crashing into the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> and after that, you know, you spawn into the bridge and the pack a punch machine is... Now with that out of the way, you're going to have to make sure you have 5,000 points to spare. You're going to have to pack a punch that blunder gat, hop it out of the machine, and use the Terra to teleport back to the main part of the map. Now here's where the Tomahawks end part of the Easter egg comes in. Now make sure you're doing this on original mode. I like to do it in public match just to be safe. If you are doing it on easy, the skulls will not spawn, you're not going to be able to do it. But anyways, you're going to have to run over to the docks, run over by where the mystery box would spawn, and throw one of the Hell's Retrievers at the opposite kind of post and now you know you get this if either a blue skull comes back to you your player says a quote or you hear like a little bit of a cha-ching sound any one of those you'll know that you've got the skull pretty much you have to pick up all these skulls and once we've got the one at the docks done next up you and your character will run over to the juggernaut machine run over to the corner right there and take a look at that lamp post you have to throw your hell's retriever right up there but here's a trick Make sure to jump while you're throwing it, it'll hit like the skulls near the post, and the skull will come back to you. Now you can't hit this while moving on the gondola, but that's just another way I prefer to be stationary while doing it. Helps me get my aim better, and like I said, you know, these tomahawks do come back to you, so you can try as many times as you want. Helps to just leave one zombie running around. Now after we get that one, we're going to head over back to our spawn room, and we're going to take a look at the cell. If we throw a tomahawk right around the hook area, we'll get this, you know, invisible skull to come back to us with another blue little looking thing. For the next one, we're going to run up on the roof and look over on the side. You'll know you're doing this right if you turn around, the water tank and the shack is right behind you, you're on the same side as that. All you got to do is line up with the side of the roof as I do, throw it over there, and you should get a blue skull or some type of quote. And finally, last but not least, we have the one in the warden's office. All you gotta do is run to the warden's office, look at the window that's overlooking like the house, line up your tomahawk or hell's retriever with the sparking telephone pole, line it up on top just as I do. Now you're gonna know you got everything right when you turn around after throwing that, and you'll notice that the warden's desk is now on fire, and eventually the blunder gat will spawn in there. You can pick it up with your secondary weapon, obviously not the first blunder gat, and you'll be able to have two blunder gats. Now I chose to do the warden's office one last, mainly because that one seemed to be the glitchiest for me, and of course, you can turn around and it spawns right there, right in front of you. You can pick it up, and now you'll be able to have two blunder gats. I'm sorry for those who are expecting to have it akimbo blunder gats. That's not working out, but like I said, you got a step of the Easter egg tackled, so definitely go ahead and do the Easter egg. My team went on to do the Easter egg. I was tanking it out with the two blunder gats, and we ended up getting it done, and it felt so satisfying to finally be done with the Easter egg. It was like, hey, I got this one done, and the map hasn't even been out for a week yet. Now, what's cool is you can actually go and upgrade the second blunder gat, so you have two upgraded blunder gats. Now what I found really helpful for me is to get one of the blunder gats and actually use the acid gat upgrade kit on it. You'll have an acid gat for sticky situations or if there's a bunch of zombies in a horde and you'll still have that blunder gat with only two shots but no acid to use up close and personal with the enemies. Maybe if you're trying to get a crawler or leave one zombie running around. It ends up being a pretty effective class and with the acid gat that works at a long range and the blunder gat upgraded regular just works at a close range. So that being said, I would not recommend getting dead shot with this though because it doesn't really matter to get too many headshots with this gun. Just aim up. But, that's pretty much it, that's all I have for this video, it is a bit of a longer video, but here's what I'm going to do, I want you guys to comment down below with either two videos I want to post, either a complete tutorial on how to get the easter egg, or I might do a tutorial on how to get the golden spork, it's kind of like an easter egg and it actually replaces your melee weapon with a golden spork, it's a one hit kill, up to round 31, so that's pretty beast. 
pretty awesome to have this golden spork as your melee and it's also pretty powerful and can help you out in sticky situations if it does go up to high rounds. Now that being said, make sure to leave a comment which one you want to see. Also make sure to share the video with your friends if you enjoyed it. At 500 likes, I'll post whichever one wins. I'll be able to post that, either the full tutorial on the Easter egg or the golden spork melee. That's going to be awesome. Now make sure to enjoy this video. If you leave a like, that'd be awesome. If you didn't, that's alright too. Keep in mind I'm on the road to 20,000 subscribers. That's about it. Have a great day. The doctor needs you to press the subscribe button. Click to watch the videos now. Das ist wunderbar, wunderbar. Von Sprechen Sie Deutsch. Das ist scheiße. Entry 7410, two, one! Ah, this station holds the key to the real goals of Group 935. I still do not trust my unconventional allies.